What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another video in the Scooby-Doo review series as now we're on to Scooby-Doo and guess who and now that's going to mark us at the number 13th season that we're talking about. That means we're one away from completing this review series. Yes, we're talking about 14 different shows of Scooby-Doo. It's almost complete. Here we go. And this one came out in 2019. So today you're going to hear my thoughts on Scooby-Doo and guess who. So let's do this. Roll it. I also, real quick, just want to say, like, sorry for not posting a lot of videos. I know I should have been doing a lot more videos. You know, this is a horror YouTube channel, and this is the spooky month, but I actually had recently 11 nights in a row working, so it just kind of really, really kicked my ass, but we are back. Like I said, now i got a couple days off, so I'm going to be filming some videos over the next couple days, so make sure that you stay tuned to the channel, because there's going to be stuff dropping here and there. All throughout the week. Scooby-Doo and Guess Who premiered in 2019. This marks the 13th season in the Scooby-Doo franchise and like I said this one is pretty much a the shortest way to describe this one is this is a rehash retelling or modern version of the new Scooby-Doo movies. So it takes the Scooby-Doo crew, the Mystery Inc. crew, which is the same characterizations they use from like Scooby-Doo Where Are You and all that kind of stuff, the original shows, and it's them meeting special guest stars like Ricky Gervais, Wanda Sykes, Sia, and other kind of characters, even some characters from Hanna-Barbera, other cartoons and stuff. So like I said, this is a modern version of the new Scooby-Doo movies. That's the easiest way to describe this show. And there's two seasons of the show, 52 episodes, and Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. Like, one thing I must say right off the bat is that I wish this one was... I don't know, like, I wish it was a little bit different. Like, I wish they marked themselves just a little bit different. And the even the music, the intro music, it's not really anything spectacular for me. So, like I said, there's some things about this one that I really do like. But this one is, like I said, very similar to the new Scooby-Doo movies where it hinders itself on which, uh, which guest star is there today. You know what I mean? Are you into it? Do you want to see Wanda Sykes? Do you want to see Jeff Foxworthy? You know, it's really up to which kind of special guest star is in that episode and if you're going to enjoy it because if you don't like that person you're probably not going to enjoy it because like a lot of these episodes lean heavy on the guest star. But we have a couple really good ones like my personal favorite all on personal favorite was the one with Sia like Sia's episode was fantastic was hilarious that one was right up my alley comedy wise she was a great guest star you know what I mean so that one was fantastic we also have one with malcolm mcdowell like it was great to get malcolm mcdowell as a guest voice so the guest voice are really cool that's probably a, like I said one of the fun things to experience about this season is that you get all these new different guest voices every episode and stuff like that but like i said it just depends on if you enjoy them enough and like i said this is very similar to the new scooby-doo movie so the same kind of you know plot points same kind of execution and everything and all that so it's not really that different it very much is just a modern version of that previous show we also have fictional guest stars on this one as well like sherlock holmes that's another great episode because velma teaming up with sherlock holmes and velma like respects him so much that that was a really fantastic one and a fun one so like i said there is a lot to love about this season this isn't two awful seasons or anything like that it's just it's stuff we've seen before it's stuff that's already been done and everything and like for somebody who is a younger audience member enjoying the Scooby-Doo series and the seasons, I can see them liking this one more than the new Scooby-Doo movies because when you watch the new Scooby-Doo movies, you're some of those people you're not really going to know. Like if you're too young, you're not going to know who the Three Stooges are or some of those other characters, you know, like Don Knotts and stuff like that. So you won't enjoy that. You're going to enjoy this one a lot more. But for me, just being modernized and having the modern, like, you know, colorization and the animation, animation, it looks a little too crisp, it looks a little too clean. And what I liked about new Scooby-Doo movies is that it felt like Scooby-Doo, where are you? An extension of that. So it has the same atmosphere. It's very creepy, it's very spooky. And it has that that animation style that's old school and I like that. And this one, they kind of strip down all of that stuff and just make it modern. So it just feels like 
you know, you ripped down like an old car and then like repainted it and put new stuff on it and everything and then tried to resell it, which can work sometimes, but it's not always the best option. But in terms of the mystery ink crew, they're all pretty much, like I said, spectacular. They're all the same in this one, very much similar to the Scooby-Doo, where are you characters, like the way they act and the way they are, the way they're designed and everything and stuff. So I have no problem with them. Like I said, this is just one of those seasons that when you think about it and when you're watching 14 different shows of Scooby-Doo, this is one that kind of gets buried, kind of gets lost in the shuffle because like I said, it's just so much like another one and it doesn't do enough to stand out. So it is kind of just like I said, it gets muddled in a lot of, with a lot of the other ones, but this isn't like I said, like two awful seasons or anything like that. It's just ones that you kind of have to, you know, like I said, you have to really be into the style and the formula that they're going with for these two seasons. Now, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, currently you can stream this on Max. Originally, it was on Boomerang, and that's where you can stream it as well, so you can find it on Max or Boomerang. And yeah, like I said, this one, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who. I think it's also on Tubi. You might be able to find this one on Tubi as well. But like I said, very average, very middle of the road. TV show for the Scooby-Doo franchise. Like I said, nothing awful, nothing great, just okay for me in my book. But these are just, like I said, my thoughts and my opinions on Scooby-Doo. And guess who? That means I would love to hear from all of you down below in the comment section. If you've seen this season's, these two, let me know what is your feelings on them so we can discuss down below. And are you excited? We are almost through. That means we're on to the 14th one. Coming up next, we get to talk about Velma, yes, the infamous Velma TV show, and then we've talked about every Scooby-Doo television series there is to talk about, and now after that video, after the Velma one, I will be dropping a ranking video as well, so you can see where all the seasons stack up against each other, so it's going to be fun. Make sure you like this video, you're subscribed to the channel, and you have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video, but most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.